Hi there. I'm Lauren with Posh Glitter and Brandy is watching or going to watch. I'm just gonna see if a couple people pop on. If you're watching and the red box, live box is not there, then I'm no longer live. Hi, Brandy. Long time no see. So I'm just going to be covering some tips and tricks. And I will go ahead and start. This is the storyboard tumbler. Nice tan and peeling, which is not nice. Okay, so this is how the storyboard tumbler comes in the box. Just took it out and Brandy, you can do this along with me. You take the lid off and this part down here unscrews like so. And then you just hold the uh, sides and with your thumb, with your thumbs, just pop off the metal part. And then these papers come with it in which I don't use. I just put off to the side. And you have all of your pieces broke down. So what I do with this is I will put it in the freezer, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So right now you're just gonna put it to the side. Um, this plastic outside I put back in the box because I don't want it scratched. And all of that just goes to the side. So then what I've done is I have taped off my rim and this bottom knob piece and applied my base coat and then I'm going to take off the tape maybe so you'll have it looking like this and a lot of people um, have used the sealer and they filled this. I um, have had the best luck with a hot glue gun. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the hole with hot glue because any of your liquid that you're gonna be using is going to go into that hole and your glitter that you choose is gonna get stuck in there and it makes less water. So I fill it up. And I'm just filling it up with hot glue. And it takes quite a bit. This is actually the only gadget. The only gadget that you'll need. Oops. 
So after I filled it up, I just wait a little bit and as it cools and gets hard, it's going to uh, create like a little hole in here. It's gonna sink a little bit. So you wanna wait for that to take place and then you continue to fill with the uh, hot glue. And just scrape off the excess if you're a little messy. And you just scrape it off. So that's cooling. And I actually have a couple to do. So I should be doing this other one. And this step you can actually do before or after you do your base. So I have painted my base. I've filled the little hole, I'm waiting for it to cool. And that just prevents your liquid from going into this little knob. Because if you don't fill it, it will all go in here. It'll look shorter on your wall up here as if your tumbler wasn't filled with the liquid all the way, which is what I prefer. So if you can see, if I can get it on there, you can see how it's going concave a little bit. So I'm just gonna fill it up And you have to do that probably just a couple times until it's good to go. And some other um, supplies that you'll need is, this is um, one that I tried first. This is the, um, the clear silicone uh, waterproof sealer from the hardware store. And I was not a fan of this. I've seen people use it and it's worked for them. Um, however, I did not like it. So what I tried next was the aquarium sealant. And this is Marine Land Aquarium Sealer that I got from PetSmart. It was maybe 11 bucks. So this is, um, and why I'm doing it in multiple parts is because unfortunately these, um, tumblers take a couple steps and I have to run to the store tomorrow and get some more of this because I've ran out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some epoxy and after you fill the hole um, with the hot glue then you can go ahead and continue on with your base. So I'm going to go ahead and get one base going while that is still cooling. Um, I use uh, counterculture epoxy. I haven't had any problems with those that I've done. I know others have um, said to only use Promarine, uh, but I haven't had anything go wrong with mine that I've done. I'm gonna grab my epoxy. And I am going to be using um, Cristal. The Chunky and um, what is it? The two millimeter and the eight.
Randy, have you used the new the new Cristal yet? Turning my heater on because I've been gone for a week. I didn't need it and I should have plugged it in a little bit ago because it's always much easier to work with when it's warmer. I'm dying to see those new sizes. I'm excited for them since that's my favorite color. I'm just going to heat it up a little bit and so this has gone down a little bit more. So I'm going to give it one more quick fill. And if you overfill on the um, hot glue, you don't have to worry about it because you can just take a razor blade and just slit, slit off whatever overage you have. Okay, so when I epoxy my base, I am going to epoxy the whole base. I'm gonna carry it over on the bottom just a little bit because I also glitter that. And then on this lip inside, you want to take your popsicle stick and you want to slip it up underneath the lip here. You want to do that with your epoxy because you want it to get as far up as you can without gooing up the whole inner very top part of that. So you just want to get it up as high as you can and just not to the very, very top inside ridge because that will affect how when you put your plastic piece back on this um, which I'll cover when we get to that step um, it'll affect if you have too much glitter and epoxy up there it will not close all the way so it'll be very difficult to work with in which it's an easy fix you can just um, take your exacto knife and Cut it out of there. So this one is good to go and I'm just gonna put it on my spinner and I have the other one on my spinner also and I'm gonna figure out how to flip this around for you. Let me see how I can flip this. Okay. So now that it is spinning, let me see if I can't turn this around. Bear with me one second. Oops. 
Okay. So I'm just going to apply the epoxy as I normally would, which this is the easy, the easy steps. Putting the whole contraption back together again is a little, is a little different. Sorry. So I apply my epoxy coat, my first, I am obviously uh, using the epoxy method. I apply a little bit of a thicker layer because I like it to soak in, um, which it doesn't really affect, um, it doesn't matter uh, aside from the only flat parts that you really need are where you're going to place your vinyl, obviously. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be super smooth. Um, but I just like my glitter to soak in. Which that's one of the benefits to the storyboards is it doesn't necessarily have to be super smooth. You can sand a spot to where you want to place your decal and place it and not have to worry about a couple pieces sticking out. So I'm also going to go over the bottom here. And if you get any on your on the little knob, it's super easy. You just wipe it off. Or after it's dried even, you can just use your X-Acto knife and cut it off. So I have my base covered and what I was talking about is just going up hi Jamie I use counterculture and I have had no issues with it I use glycerin mixed with water and it has been perfectly fine So I just take my popsicle stick and I'm just making sure that I have the epoxy going up under this lip. And I leave my tape on the top because I don't want epoxy on that one part of the stainless steel. And you can peek under there and you can get a feel for it for sure. And that's it. I think that you could definitely um, try it. My first mistake that I made when um, I threw my first one away because I got the hang of it, but um, I had bent the bottom of the tumbler part, um, like the, the plastic part, trying to get it unscrewed multiple times to try and figure out where I went wrong. Um, and I noticed that um, because I didn't epoxy all the way up here under the rim that it was starting to peel apart. So that was one mistake that I made and learned from. So that's a bonus. Um, let me grab my plate. 
Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously I'm not using a tripod, so sorry if you're dizzy. But I'm going to go ahead and apply my glitter. And I'm using Cristal. It's going to be an all white base. And she wants bright yellow uh, vinyl that says you're my sunshine with a name. So I just shake, sorry, the glitter getting up as high as I can in there. Um, and then I do the whole bottom. And I did get some on the knob and I'm just going to Peel that off with the X-Acto once it dries or wipe it off with a little wipey cloth. Um, but that's it. So as this spins and does what it needs to do, I will apply another coat of epoxy over this. And then I will apply my decal with another layer. You want to make sure that you do not make this so thick because you only have a minimal space between the wall um, of the tumbler and the plastic outside piece. So if you're using a chunky glitter mix, you want to make sure that it is not super chunky that it, that you just you want to make it as thin as you can so that is going to be step one and i will show you another cool trick let me flip this around and y'all can walk with me while I show you this trick. I don't know if I showed it on this video, but I did share it in a group. So the bottom of the bottom metal piece and the plastic piece that screws to that bottom knob, there's a hole in the plastic piece. So I'm going to be really personal and show you my freezers. So here is the bottom piece. I just put it in my freezer right before I started the video. And going upstairs to show you. So there's this little hole that I uh, used a needle with. And I fill, I like my um, tumbler filled all the way with the glycerin and water. So in order to get to this little hole, you have to take off the uh, stainless part. So here it is. I just got it out of the freezer. It's all one part. And... Oh, it's going to make a liar out of me now. And I have epoxy on one hand and I can't get it undone. So maybe the bottom freezer isn't as cold as the top freezer. Bear with me. Yeah, it's not working now, of course, because I'm on camera. Um, 
let's see. It has never not worked before. I promise you. So let me grab the other one, because there's two. And we'll see if that one was just being difficult. Or maybe it wasn't in there long enough, but I'm pretty sure that it was. Um, you could use fabric, I'm sure, if you didn't want to glitter it. I, I think I've seen that. Okay, let's try again. Here's the other one. Yeah, I don't think that freezer downstairs is as cold as my upstairs one. So, I'm gonna put them in the upstairs freezer. Sorry, it just works that way when you're on camera. It never does what it's supposed to, I would think. Um, so that's step one. I will show you the glycerin that I got. Um, I got it off of Amazon. They were uh, buy two, get one free. And I will show you the brand. It is this kind. And so I bought two, I got my third one free. This is what I prefer over baby oil. The baby oil was a huge disaster. It was messy and slimy and it just got all over where this is, I don't know why, but it's much easier to work with. So um, this is going to be the end of part one. I will continue um, tomorrow with part two and um, hopefully uh, finish all of the steps to these because once you get it figured out and a lot of people are just more visual as far as getting it finished, um, it's much easier to do. So thank you all for watching and if you have any questions, you can definitely leave them down in the comments and I will answer them for you. Thank you, see you tomorrow, bye-bye.